stage, your host for this evening, it's Eddie Malarkey! Welcome! Welcome. Um, great to be here. So, Ireland, uh, did you know that we've had the highest vaccine uptake in all of Europe? That's, that's nice, some vaccine enthusiasts there are in. 95% uptake in this country. Uh, and uh, all around the world, people were struggling to get their countries to take the vaccine. America, they were paying people to take the vaccine. <laughs> Germany had 70% vaccine uptake. And I remember a few months ago that the German government were asking the Irish government, how are you getting the whole country to take this? You're such a disorganized mess. It doesn't make sense. How have you done? And I'll tell you, Germany, how we did it. If you didn't take your vaccine in this country, you weren't allowed to go for a pint. <laughs> the whole country lined up. There was mile-long queues outside pubs. It didn't matter what conspiracy theory you believed in. There, there were flat earthers wearing tinfoil hats saying to the bouncer, yeah, shove that Bill Gates chip up my arse. I don't mind. I want a pint. The poor anti-vaxxers, they weren't allowed in. And I remember walking by an anti-vax rally outside the GPO and there was a lady holding a placard. And the placard read, convicted pedophiles are allowed into pubs in Ireland. <laughs> but the unvaccinated are not, question mark. <laughs> convicted pedophiles are allowed into pubs in Ireland, but the unvaccinated. Pedophiles in a pub? That's not a problem. <laughs> not a problem. Like, that's a good thing. They should be in the pubs. You know. More pubs, less playgrounds. That's, I've been saying it for years, you know. Statistically, there might be one in tonight. You know, get them a free round, fuck it. <laughs> or maybe what she means, she just wants more unvaccinated people in the pubs which I think is a good idea, because she's right that the unvaccinated, they are the best pub banter. You, know, you talk to a vaccinated person at the pub, probably an accountant saying, oh, well, the vaccine antibodies are very, like, oh, shut up, will you, Jesus? You talk to an unvaccinated person at the pub, they're like, you know, Eddie, they faked the moon landing. <laughs> Did they? Get this mad bastard a point, do one. <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah, 9-11 was an inside job, Eddie. <laughs> Was it? Yeah, and you're a paedophile. Get him two pints, get him. <laughs> Fall around. <laughs> I read in the newspaper that um, all the people taking up the intensive care beds now are the unvaccinated because they get the worst COVID symptoms. And this journalist was saying, we should kick them out of the hospitals because they chose not to get the vaccine. Now they're taking taxpayer money. Fuck them. It's, it's a bit harsh, you know? I think we should give them medical care but give them the medical anti-vax care that they would want, you know? Oh, no, he's, he's, he's going into cardiac arrest. Quick, get the... Oh, he's anti-vax. It's time for the homeopathic defibrillator, everybody. <laughs> Charging. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle. Ah, oh, he's dead. Fuck. But it's how he would have wanted to have gone. Right. <laughs> I'm worried that uh, when this is broadcast, that all the jokes will have dated really badly. Like, you'll be watching this uh, on your phone in a bunker speaking Russian, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this could be the last thing filmed ever. We don't know, you know. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of bad governments, a lot of police states reading the people's emails. The Russian security reading all of our emails. The American NSA reading all of our emails. The Irish Gardaí are not reading our emails. <laughs> In my experience, the guards aren't reading their own emails. <laughs> I got scammed on Airbnb. I booked a, a cottage in Cork for 500 euro, and I arrived to the location. It was an empty fucking field. So I went to the guard station. I told the guard I got scammed on Airbnb. And the guard said to me, well, lesson learned. <laughs> you won't be using Airbnb again. <laughs> Thanks for warning us anyway. <laughs> like, no, no, no I, I'd like to report a crime. 
Reporter to who? <laughs> Lads, be careful on Airbnb. <laughs> Thanks, now, go on, off with you, off with you. Like some guards think their job is just chat to people. That's all it is, isn't it? Oh, your friend was murdered. Oh. Well, you won't be going down that alleyway again anyway. <laughs> huh?